The only solution to Nigeria problem is a breakout so that everybody will go and work for their futures. The people in the street have spoken. <laughs> Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to Balabas GC. If today is the first time you are coming across this wonderful channel, you are highly welcome. <laughs> and if you know, say so you never subscribe or follow this page, I don't know what you they wait for. Or yeah, try. May you go subscribe for our YouTube and also turn your notification bell. So at any time we will upload, you will be the first person where we will get our update back to back as it is hot. <laughs> um, let's go and look into the Wenge news where we'll get for hand today. I want to show you this shocking video and uh, um, to show you this video that will make your day. It may, some people, for some people, it may not make their day, but some people, it, will, it may make their day as well. So, um, the everyone in the street have told Nigeria that the solution to this problem that we are inside now is not to keep everybody in this contraction. Allow people to go and fight for their future. Allow people to go and look for their and go for their freedom if you want to be an Nigeria, you can be an Nigeria, but you cannot force others who think maybe if they go their separate way they will do more better than being together as a Nigeria. so i'm going to play this video for you to watch and we will come back we'll continue stay tuned and watch the video we are going into destruction day by day and nothing will bring us out except we will go our different ways that is the only way we will, you know advance as a people but if you tell me as a nigeria or as a pastor or as a congregation we are still praying for the well-being of nigeria you are still hoping you are still dreaming of a better nigeria you are there dreaming so there's no better nigeria. nothing is coming out of it so the best thing for us as a people we are not compatible we are not the same people both in religion, both in tradition, both in culture, both in behavior, economically, we are we are not the same. The best thing for us to all go as a separate way. Go our separate way to enhance our individual destiny. What can an individual Nigerians do to achieve this? Separation. Yes, there are people. Let me tell you, IPOB they have done a lot. When IPOB as a separate group, they are telling you they want their own separate country. Sorry, you mentioned IPOB. Yes. Video, a video is flying on the internet where the IPOB the crime they are perpetuating. Some of them, the stolen car, the kidnapping, the killing, the shallow grave. They are stealing cars and you know, like dismantle the car. Yes. Are those people IPOB members? Let me tell you, Nigeria is a lawless country. Anybody who is perpetrating evil or perpetrating crime and ascribing it to IPOB is a sick man. The person is sick on the head. IPOB is a sectional group internationally. Everybody, the world knows these people are freedom fighters. So let me tell you something. People have been able to key in into this ideology. And when you see them going about their enhancement, you don't begin to tell them that they are criminals. Uh, such people who have been able to hijack it. Let me tell you something. There is state-sponsored terrorism going on in Southeast. The state, the state itself are the ones sponsoring the terrorism in the state. Going about killing individuals, killing occupants, killing, uh, burning their houses, destroying their properties. So when you go to Imo State, what you are seeing there is state sponsors terrorism. We are the states who we have voted in or who came through the back door are now going about killing people who they swore to protect their lives and their property. These people are not IPOB members. Let me tell you something. How do you differentiate? You will not because we, all, we are totally locked down in a lawless country. Whereby the man in the hands of affairs has been able to forge his own certificate in order to qualify the position. What do you think the remnants will be? What do you think the citizens will be? The man, the first man, who is the president of a, the country, is a criminal. He is impersonating. You understand? The result he drew at... was your candidate? Let me, let me tell you something. Yeah, I'm listening. Nigeria. We are not talking about candidates now. That was the man you voted for. A lot of Nigerians voted for him. Yes. Without knowing 
that he is a dysfunction, that he is evil. And let me tell you, I'm not saying about majority, but I know that a lot of Nigerians voted for him because he has his own candidates too. There are APC uh, stewards also in Nigeria. But we will not tell because he has come into power, we begin to allow him to kill all Nigerians. The primary end for by which you invo- invo- uh, 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 voted for him was to protect the lives of properties of Nigeria. To, you know, change our fortune, to bring light to our darkness, to provide our daily mail, to uh, provide necessity, the basic necessity. But where are we? I believe today, maybe you are threat from your house to this place. A whole lot of Nigerians threat to their working places. They cannot afford a common transport, common transport fare to their working place. How much is the minimum wage? How much is the food they eat and consume on daily basis? Talk more of somebody who has children to cater for. It's very unbearable. As a Nigeria, you don't have anything to rely on. Another to weep. Every morning you wake up, you begin to weep. You cry because there is no hope. So, there is no future. I, it is, let me tell you something. Tinubu himself, the tribunal I know, will not do justice to this matter. The, they will know to do this justice to this matter. Let me tell you something why I said this. You know, before now, the tribunal, all Nigerians who had a, so much hope on the tribunal. Did you know what happened? They failed Nigerians. And these people, assumably, are the hope of common Nigerians. So when our hopes as common Nigerians are being dashed to the mold, what benefit do we have as Nigerians? So it's separation now, is it? The best thing is this. I am telling you what you are seeing in Imo State, see in Anambra State, see in Enugu State, see in other parts of Nigeria. South is to be uh, peculiar. Is revolution is coming in its force. It's like a wide wind. Yeah. It's like a wide fire. Yeah. It's unquenchable. It's coming to consume the entire country. country. Right. And if care is not taken, because I know, as a Nigeria, when you begin, when you are being given by to as a Nigeria. Your growing up is just a mess. And you, you, you come up as an, a living entity, you are a mess. You graduate, there is no job. Look at the school fees people are paying for their works, their children. You go to schools, they are paying randomly. And when these people, their parents, start day and night to send them to school, and after graduation, you see these people, there is nothing, no job. They litter around the streets, they enter into court season, they bring security breaches in the country. That is why everywhere is revibrating. Totally say there is no hope. But if you ask me, the remedy that can help Nigeria right away is splitting into six. We have six geopolitical zones. Split Nigeria into these six geopolitical zones. You think that things will start going right because we are large and we are different language. We speak different language, different ethnics and all so the rest. Nigeria, no, it's not going to work. It's to split. It's not, it's not going to work completely because when you talk about the ethnics, you talk about our brothers, our big fishes from our ethnics and the, all the rest. They all have all their self interest, selfish interest, personal interest. They don't have the interest of even the zone at heart. Imagine where a senator, they gave them consistency projects. Have you seen where your, where your senator were put in the consistency project? Have you seen? But they gave them the money. They ate it. But when you go to north, you see them working. Just imagine such a thing. You see them working. So, splitting Nigeria, solution to this. Splitting Nigeria, if you marry two wives, you know the one way they better than others. So, we have tried Nigeria. And Nigeria, you can see that, me and you can see, that what they're supposed to do, they have failed to what they're supposed to do. Yeah, my people, welcome back. As I have watched that video and uh, understand what they go on, everybody way touch for nigeria will tell you that nigeria has no um, remedy unless those ones where they for street they drink banana 
they will say one well, well, once you don't give them one check but they don't they're okay so now then if you come outside constant say this government better for them more since we'll be saying that they see one banners drink in the morning <laughs> but a reasonable man be for inside this country go tell you say things don't spoil on be all repair that the best solution now may everybody go pushing dream for in dreamland as it be so now this is the um their own opinion uh will they ask you your own opinion for inside this matter what do you think do you think breaking up nigeria is best for everyone as of this moment or do you think nigeria see unite is the best so let us know what you think in the comment section we will see you for the next update and we'll talk about it for comment section as well